This is Twit. Thanks to Spence Porter. You remember him in the early days of ComSpec. Spence, WA6 TPR, went from ham radio into building things, and now he's got a business of not only tone signaling, but, uh, well, Brian, let's go ahead and roll the uh, video, or excuse me, the short shots, and here is what Spence has come up for wildlife folks, and that is tags for wildlife. Well, he didn't want to leave out ham, so he built tags on the ham radio 222 and 223 megahertz band just for tea hunting as well as marking your favorite. Now, these tags are for kids. They're for pets. They're for just about anywhere you want to have a little tiny transmitter that uh, puts out a uh, uh, about uh, one milliwatt of power, about 100 millisecond tick and these go for anywhere from two to three miles excuse me two to three blocks to out in the open maybe one to two miles and these little ticker tags can be easily worn uh, for a month without having to change this simple cr2032 battery and uh, once you have uh, the battery inserted it also gives off your call sign and that is they're pre-programmed and they're only sold on the 222, 223 band to licensed ham radio operators. So it's staying within the ham bands and staying within the ham service as a tea hunt special. And by the way, they're interstitial on the 222 megahertz band. So where you see a strong repeater on the spectrum analyzer on each side are the tags on the <clears throat> repeater outputs. So you're never going to have a tag uh, pulsing a repeater or anything like that that you could hear with a conventional FM radio. Now, these little tiny trackers can help you track down a pooch that gets away up to two or three blocks. And if you have some elevation or a beam antenna, as I do, you can track them anywhere from five to ten blocks away. And there's a dog with uh, one of the tickers, a little yellow one. Uh, if you're into uh, kitty cats, as we are, there's a ticker tag, and they don't even know they're wearing them, and this goes for a month. And, yes, every 10 minutes it sends out the WB6NOA. You got a gerbil or a what the heck is that? I'm not sure, but uh, it could have a ticker tag, so if it gets loose at the ham fest, it could be tracked down easily with the uh, uh, receiver. And the receiver, by the way, <clears throat> is a CW narrowband receiver with a single sideband crystal filter, eight pole ceramic filter, six helical resonators, this receiver is sensitive. So if you want to tag your favorite parrot, I suppose you could do so too. <clears throat> Might not fly well with that tag. But anyway, your animals won't even know <clears throat> that you're signaling your call sign. And once a second, for about uh, 100 milliseconds, you hear this characteristic little tiny pulse. And that allows you to swing the antenna and find the pooch. That's one like that at Quartz Fest. Or maybe you're working a bloodhound mission. You can tag the bloodhound and always know where he or she is on the mission. The battery simply pop right into the tag. Each battery tag has a number because you could have up to 50 combinations of tags. You could actually have 50 of these $50 transmitters, 50 bucks a piece. 250 for the receivers, who under $300, you're started with one tag and one hot 9-volt battery-operated receiver and the included Moxon antenna that is quite directional. Now, there's some other tags that he makes for uh, uh, public safety operations as well as for medical applications that are uh, more than one milliwatt. They're anywhere from 10 to 50 milliwatts, and they're on a different medical frequency band Close to, but not on the HAM 220 band. Uh, for transport, everything folds right up. There's the uh, receiver. <clears throat> when you're ready to do your tea hunting, you make sure you've got an easy 9-volt battery uh, inserted, ready to roll. Place for headphones. And you start waving that back and forth. Not little steps, but big waves back and forth. And you'll find that your pet accidentally got locked up in this container compartment uh, long before uh, he dried up. So that's good. And you can write down uh, four of your favorite pets. But remember, uh, this is a PLL receiver that can receive 
up to 90 channels of both the old legacy frequencies at 218, as well as the ham frequencies at 222 and 223, interstitial to repeaters. Now, even with your best ICOM <clears throat> handheld, you're not going to hear the 100 millisecond, 1 milliwatt signal on FM. It takes single sideband capabilities to hear that. And, of course, with an ICOM uh, HF radio with VHF, UHF, <clears throat> and a converter for the 222 band, you'll hear them. Of course, each of his receivers have a nice uh, built-in uh, S-meter. They also have an attenuator. And that's the brand-new receiver you see on the right, much more thin than the conventional one on the left that I have painted yellow. Now, here's the kid connection. You hide five or six transmitters on different frequencies, and the kids will go wild. They can do their own antennas out of a tape measure, or they can, as we see here, do the Moxon antenna. That's part of the uh, $250 receiver, and uh, that Moxon antenna is both sensitive as well as quite directional. And uh, kids have a great time tracking down their uh, pets. Here we see uh, the fire department. At one of our uh, ham instructor classes, uh, they tracked down uh, Fritz, and uh, they've got him collared now. But uh, they found him in a hurry because fire department and many emergency groups are trained to find the uh, 121.5 locators. No, the receiver doesn't do 121.5. It is intended for training. So a companion 121.5 receiver that you see off to the left would be able and similar to track down those activated signals. <clears throat> For the elderly, uh, your mom or your dad that's uh, in their 80s or 90s, uh, you put one of the tags on their cart so when they go cruising and make a left instead of a right, you can track them down in the neighborhood two or three blocks away easily. And this young lady also has her pooch with one of the tags on it. <clears throat> And uh, aeronautical, we tried it with Jeff in 6JSV. Jeff and I went up in the aircraft, and uh, with a variety of radios, it was Spence Porter's radio receiver that did the very best reception of these tags. So your favorite animal, a little tiny tag like that on Mr. Q or Ms. Moo with a little tag like this, and you'll be able to spot them everywhere they might want to go hiding. Dogs, cats, gerbils, you name it. Now, there's Ray, and I've got to say, Ray is one of the most generous marketeers, and Ray just gave us the great news. Thank you, Ray, for Quartzfest. We're going to be uh, putting together a complete station, uh, power supply, <clears throat> antenna, and most important, the ICOM 7200. That's going to be given away to one of the lucky in January Quartzfest attendees. So, Ray... We so much appreciate your support of the amateur service and all that us hams do to make ham radio happening. And with a little receiver like this one right here and a little tiny tracker tag like this, you're ready to roll. For more information, go to com, C-O-M hyphen spec, S-P-E-C dot com. And Spence Porter will take you through all of the neat receivers and little tiny one milliwatt transmitters on the 222, 223 band that go quite a distance when you have your receiver tuned in to try and find that lost item. And by the way, when I do Orange County Fair, <clears throat> I put one of the tags in my ICOM radio that uh, we're going to have at Quartz Fest as well, the 9100. So if someone bags my radio and they're within three or four blocks, I'll find it quick.